today we are visiting Parc National del Palmar, famous for these palm trees that grow, grow all over the park. It's our first game viewing experience in a national park in South America. And so starts another episode of our South American adventure. Thank you very much for our Patreons for making these videos possible. It's your support that assists us in making better videos. If you would like to support us, please go to patreon.com forward slash feel us on four wheels and subscribe today. Before we've seen um, these very small, looks like mini hippopotamus. Big rats or small hippos? Yeah, yeah and um, a few interesting birds. Uh, still working on our bird um, identifying skills um, and um, some raptors circling high above. Yeah, it's uh, just nice to get um, into the nature and a little bit more detailed nature. We haven't been in the National Park since Kruger National Park. Into you into the Leon City? Oh, Leon City. Yeah, yeah, we went into Leon City. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll show you a little bit of what 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 a park is like in northern Argentina. Just keep watching. This national park was quite small, but filled with a lot of interesting animals. You could drive through the park in less than a day. But we really had fun. Karin also had the opportunity to start using her new lens for filming birds and animals at a distance. We also started learning about the history of northern Argentina with the missionaries and the original ethnic population as there were a few cemeteries scattered through the park with some interesting information and some ruins left over from the mining days. After Park de Palmar, we headed further north, got a little bit off our planned route and headed for Iberia National Park, a park that some other travelers told us about, similar to the Great Pantanal in Brazil, as it's the southern part of the Pantanal wetland. Some people call it the poor man's Pantanal, as it's much less expensive and we decided to explore it. It's been a hard day on the road. We did a total of about 200 kilometers. We even did four kilometers of gravel road today. Sleeping next to the road, the roads over there, close to the shrine of Gauchito Gil, a Robin Hood-like character from 1840, or born in 1840. Um, the stories vary about him. But yeah, basically, he didn't want to go to the army and he became an outlaw. That we know, and then the rest is up to Catholic and local folklore. Yeah, we're on our way to the Ibera National Park. Tomorrow we're going to go and do some game viewing by boat. A little bit off the beaten track, like we hope we could do. Met some very nice... Um, other overlanders that's been in South America for something like eight years and they mentioned that it's worth it. So yeah, we changed our plans, changed our route a bit. Still heading north. But yeah, let, uh, let me show you what it looks like from above and what um, Mr. Gaucho Gill's um, shrine looks like. It's peaceful out here 
in the tranquil southeast. This figure drawing near is a stranger. Yeah. <laughs> Early morning and the real cowboys are up. We've just woken up. Karini is still under the big yellow mountain in in bed. Yeah, just getting a bit warmer at least. Still chilly. Yeah, nice way to wake up. It's the real cowboys, not the flashy ones from America. The working cowboys. They've stopped for a quick um, hello at the shrine of Kauchitu Gil. Didn't actually know it was done every day. Mm. But yeah, very friendly. Didn't really understand what they're saying. I think they said, oh, you city folks sleep very late. Uh, but that's just my guess. I don't know what he said, but arriving at Abira National Park, we got our first glimpse of the wetlands and also our first experience of the wooden bridges that Brazil is famous for. We'll still get to know these bridges very well further on in our adventures. We then took a great two and a half hour boat trip. With the wetlands, it's much easier getting close to the game by boat than trying to drive around. I found the park very wheelchair accessible with the long wooden walkways and the laid out paths. There was about a three kilometer walkway that I could easily manage in my wheelchair. It's great to see how Argentina is taking better care of people with disabilities. We're on the walkway and Park Provincial Ibera. Great place for birds and other wildlife. Some of the game are quite relaxed. Some are more skittish. We're still learning the animals' names. In this park, we don't have a clue what it's called. The Spanish names are quite confusing as well.
we're cruising down the path. We hear a, a monkey on the side, and we look up, <laughs> or Karin looks up and sees this. Um, quite a few of them looking at us, thinking, what the fuck are you doing here? And there's a few with babies. The light, unfortunately, quite dark, so we're not seeing that clearly. possible.